What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We are here with Reagan, of course. Devin again, in here working on the Duramax. And uh, he's been, uh, he's been uh, getting started on this truck, waiting on a part. His buddy, he forgot the part. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna be working away on this thing and hopefully we can, uh, today we can get this three inch leveling kit. Is it level or is it like a three inch lift? All they the way call around? it Adventure Series. So it's more of a lift. Um, it's better right quality than somebody just turn up their keys. <laughs> yeah, he was saying the yeah. keys are cranked up on oh, this thing. Yeah. It was, they're already turned up, but it'll ride a lot different yeah. from when you first rode it and everything. But yeah. like, um, you'll, our dually should be here later. That's what kit it has on. Yeah, I wanted to show them dually. Never, they never saw it in any, any it's, other video. It's sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. It's, it's different. It's a monster, <laughs> definitely. Ricky's truck is a monster too. They both have the same tunes and everything on it. So. Yeah. Yep. I was telling them, I said, honestly, I loved the old 12 Owls. I love my new Cummins. I love the Power Strokes. But I said, this thing has been the most fun truck to drive, awesome. hands down. I'm not saying it's the easiest to work on, oh, no. but the ride quality and like get up and go power by far like the most enjoyable truck to just try. I, that's why people are like, why are you driving the Duramax ever? I'm like, uh, because it's Dude, comfortable. <laughs> people don't realize. Like, it's so soft. Exactly, people don't realize how comfortable they are. Like they're awesome, they ride so smooth. Like we had one that was lifted uh, on a Fabtech six inch on 37s and we would drive it to Florida all the time. And dude, that thing would ride so smooth. The only thing that was annoying about it, it had a straight five inch exhaust. So you're just a little <laughs> in a big dually. Just a little, just a little cab hum, you know. Oh yeah. But yeah, so uh, we're gonna be getting to work on this. But guys, keep in mind throughout this video, just keep in mind you could be winning this truck. Every fifteen dollars you spend on LMP gear, using the link in the description on like hoodies, hats, like what she's wearing, what's Dev what Devin's wearing, stuff like that keychains, decals, posters, all that stuff. You guys pick that stuff up and you get entered to win this truck. It ends March 26th. Don't miss out, enter all you can because it's gonna be gone before you know it. Doing the upper control arms right now. Is this the fun part? Uh, it's not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting bolts out. It's a start. There's so, a bad look right there. Yeah, you guys can look at these. <laughs> Get the rear on pretty easy. Pretty easy, I'm thinking. At least you made it look easy. Devin, there's a bumper there. <laughs> <laughs> there's your drill arm. <coughs> okay. Fun. So it goes like that because it'll push the push the spindle up so you'll be able to adjust it in and out so you have more of a wheel forward than in case, because if I was to put this on backwards, the wood would be into the fender. <laughs> they, they already rubbed there as it is pretty bad, so. <laughs> Let's try and keep it away from it. <laughs> yeah. What's your uh, What's your thought on the square fenders on Chevys? I love them. You love them? I love Scotts. Oh, these are the Scott sales. These. <laughs> okay. uh, they're all right, they're not bad. I'm a square body guy. I love Scott's Oh, I'll, I'll drive anything, I don't care. They all break. <laughs> <laughs> You can fix them all, you can break them all. So. Yeah, Reagan wants me to buy a square body, but you know, you know. You want to wrap it? Rose gold? Yeah. She wants to do a rose gold wrapped square body. I think it'd be kind of cool. It would be kind of cool. We should get a square body soon. Unless you want to pay an arm and a leg. Yeah, there's 
the rear blocks on, rear shocks. Devin, you make this look easy. I've done it a lot. <laughs> You've worked on a few trucks for us already. The Longhorn, the King Ranch, Nasty Your Red. Your dad's truck was the first truck? No, this one, yeah. Yep. 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 You've done a handful for us. And I, I had it in and out like that. Yeah, that was actually pretty quick. I think you, I think I showed up, you started wrenching at 9.30 and it was out by 11.30. Yep. And that was a four inch kit on that truck. And you always tell me to buy zone kits. Why is that? I, I like zone and BDS. Um, yeah. Just because like the shop that I worked for, we were big distributors for them. So their stuff's good. Um, a lot of their kits are actually true measurements. Mm -hmm. on them so like when they say you're getting a six and a half you're getting a true six and a half you know like rough country like you saw that seven and a half <laughs> it ain't true seven and a half <laughs> <laughs> so it's just little stuff man little stuff adds up like good quality and you know they're close they're in michigan coldwater michigan oh yeah so and their welder dude they're like their welder he's awesome like he's really good <laughs> he built did you see they had a fire like no, I didn't. Their shop, yeah, their SEMA truck was there, and um, like it was parked in the back of the shop, mm -hmm. and they did a lot of work on that thing, and it looked awesome. And their shop caught fire, and that truck melted to the ground. Like, dang, that sucks. And I don't know if that wheel's supposed to look like that. You think it'll go straight down the road? I think it should go straight. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think if that's, that's the whole purpose of a four wheel drive boost launch. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Broken tire rods. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what broken tire rods would look like right there. <laughs> yeah, broken tire rod and the control on the ball joint popped out at the same time. Devin got the truck lifted back up. We did get the upper control arms on. And then he said we're going to have to, um, something that has to do with the transfer casing, cutting a bracket and putting this new one in over here. I believe that's. That's what we got to do. Then we're waiting on a tool to install the new keys. So yeah, moving along. It's a uh, it definitely makes a big difference when you have somebody that knows what they're doing. That's for sure, and they like doing it. What do you think? What do you think? Go get. It? Looks like a man's truck. Looks like a man's <laughs> truck or a Reagan truck. <laughs> I don't know why I did this. This is a Dodge thing. Yeah. Flash everything. Yeah. But yeah. So we're gonna go grab something to eat here and then uh, get back on over here and. And get her knocked out. So See what it will do is we'll cut this and this whole piece will slide up into there and these factory holes that are right here this will be on the outside and this one will go on the inside. No, they'll both go on the outside, my bad. And it'll just make this whole factory um, bracket be stronger to hold the control arm and everything. And then you see how this factory piece is holding the bottom of the front diff it'll drop it down into here, so it brings it down more and everything. It'll be up more, but it, it'll make a lot cleaner. And a lot nicer. Cool. cool. So, what's the cut? You wanna cut it? You wanna cut it? I'm messing up the thing It'll just probably be a little crooked, but. <laughs> I was gonna film the 15 extensions. Oh, I only got this many. <laughs> we had like five extensions connected because we couldn't find the Here's longer part ones. Of them. Where's yeah, the other part? half? I don't know where the other half went. Is it, oh, oh, it's, it's up, still here? up there. Yeah. Oh, here. And all these extensions on extensions. Extensions on extensions. To get to one bolt. These things are actually hot. They're warm, but. I guess size matters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I've actually got a decal that says Oh, does it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, we can try it with this one now. Yeah. You want to try Let's do that. That should reach it just like a couple inches longer. Okay. <laughs> should be good. We're going, pony boy. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Okay. You good? We're off a little. Oh, oh. oh, we can't reach it still. 
Um, that's as far as it goes. No, oh, don't say that. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, nope. Son of a gun. We're still off. <laughs> Devin, did you lie to me? What? <laughs> you said it was gonna reach. It should. Why isn't it reaching? This one's reach. I can't believe this thing won't break it loose. Don't be scared. <laughs> I just don't want to break your tools. Oh, dude, you're good. Okay. Hey, that's what Mac has warranties for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, I don't feel better on that. Okay. No, you're just good. You. I don't... Whoa! <laughs> Do they want to that kind of crap? <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll clear the right. else for you. Right, right. Yeah, I actually thought about doing something goofy with the 7.3 and then I'm like, ah, but the front fenders are still good. <laughs> Where did I set that? Tape measure? I don't even know where you put it. Oh. How's it looking? I got a, like remember when I told you this, the bolts? You have to figure out, like kind of get it to square up a little better. I'm sure people on here were probably like, oh, you have to go in front of the center of the pub of the measure. <laughs> I go off the tire to get in close. Yeah. Is this yeah, this truck hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wasn't going to say anything about the gash on your face. <laughs> yeah. We won't mention the bowl in the room. Yeah. So he was putting on one of the struts and <laughs> it came back down and nailed him right in the cheek. I thought it caught him in the eye, but it was close. <laughs> it felt great. It, it felt pretty Awesome. Yeah. So awesome. I kind of wanted to do it again to my other eye. So yeah, it turned out pretty good. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Can't wait to see those 40s on it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'd be able to get a quarter a quarter turn out of those 37s now. Right? Yeah, a little bit more. Here's what she looks like on the ground. <laughs> looks pretty good. So we are going to be running, of course, like I said, we're going to be putting on the 20 by 12 Anthem Defenders on this truck. And then we're gonna be running the, they're basically like a almost 33, but not quite. They're like a 32.8 inch tire. So it's kind of like a weird size, but it's gonna be that size to where we're not gonna have rubbing issues because you know, rubbing is no fun. It makes it a little bit of a pain in the butt when you're in reverse and you're snagging fenders and crap. Um, so it should still be able to clear the tires, no problem. But they're kind of like an all-terrain, mud-terrain mix hybrid. So they're still really aggressive. So I think it's gonna look pretty good in the end. Well, looks like we're done with the Duramax. Was, was it too bad, Devin? No, it wasn't too bad. Just tried to kill me. I mean, you know, other than trying to take your eye out. Exactly. exactly. So. Thank goodness it didn't, because he's got to work on the first gen. I know, I got a C <laughs> to get all those lines on now. It's like, dang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the bloodstream. That that thing hits you pretty good, though. As soon as it hit, I'm like, oh, dude, you're bleeding. It was, it was like instant. Yeah, it was, but, it was a gusher. Yeah, so anyways, guys, that is going to put a wrap on this video, but do not forget that you can enter to win that LMM Duramax. Information in the description below, but just to sum it up, it's every $15 you spend is another automatic entry to win, and you could be taking that truck home March 26th. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Leave a like on this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway information down below. Really do not miss out. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video.